One of the great advantages of using Radius for your agency are our built-in telephony features, which are directly within your account. Our basic plan includes the Click to Call Outbound feature that allows you to click on a phone number within your account to start a call. All of our VIOP plans include a bevy of features, from a preview automated dialer to call forwarding. This is an overview video only. We have instructions on setting up these features in other tutorials on the knowledge base. The basic click to call plans come with outbound only dialing, call queues, automated workflows that can manage your call queues, call recording, caller ID, local presence area code recognition, and call reports. You can set up click to call in settings, phone dialer and call queues. On this first tab, you can enable call recording and click to call. Save any changes you make. On the caller ID tab, you can add in your caller ID phone numbers. You have the option to set up area code recognition for those caller IDs to display. For example, if I set up a New York caller ID and want to use that number whenever I call a New York area code, I'll paste in all of the New York area codes into this area code field, separated by a comma. I'll then verify the phone number and can set a default caller ID. So I'll set my main office number as the active caller ID, but anytime I call one of these area codes in New York, the New York caller ID will display instead. Here you can add call cues so that you can organize your calls by first call needed, second call needed, appointment follow-up, quote follow-up, turning 65, whatever you need. You can come up with as many cues as you want. And our automated workflows will help you push people in and out of those call cues easily so that all you and your agents need to do is save the new status or add a tag to trigger that workflow. For example, you can set a workflow to push all new leads directly into your first call needed queue. Then if you switch the status to second call needed, a workflow could remove them from that first call queue immediately and add them in three hours later into the second queue. Or if you tag someone with turning 65, you can then have the workflow push them into your turning 65 queue. These other tabs are for the VIOP only solution, which I'll cover shortly. To launch a call, click on the phone number. To see your call log, go to Reports, Call Log. Search against a date range, and if you want to, search a specific agent or all agents. This is a great feature, as you can click on a person's name to go directly into their file and listen to any call recordings you want to review. The call log and call recordings will only appear once you've had a call with that person, and it might take a little time to process that MP3 file. Press play to hear the recording. If you want to download the file, click on the three vertical dots and you'll see the download option. If you choose to upgrade to the full VIOP plans, you'll have access to all of those features, plus inbound calls, a preview automated dialer to roll those call queues faster. In leads or clients, you can call full lists or filtered lists by clicking on Call List with Dial Queue. Or in Reports, go to Saved Reports, run the report, and then click Call List with Dial Queue. Pre recorded voicemail drop if you get the person's voicemail, voicemail to email, three way calling, warm call transfer, ring groups, IVR, and call forwarding. You can choose to purchase or report over local and toll free numbers. 
and you can set a purchased number as the account's SMS caller ID. To purchase a number, go to Settings, Phone Numbers. Search for a number that you want to use. Purchase. Local numbers are $2 per local number per month and $3 per toll-free number per month. You can also port over existing phone numbers. Submit a tech ticket if you want to do so. If you purchase or port a number, you'll have the option to set up a greeting and a voice message. You can set up voicemail to email so that you can easily play your voice messages from your email. You can also set a number as your default SMS display number. In voicemail greetings, you can record, upload, or even type text-to-voice greetings. These can be used for voicemail drop purposes and voice messages. If you want to set up ring groups or IVR, you can do so here. And if you have SIP phones, you can connect them in this section. Once you're set up, go to your call queues. Hit Launch Dial Queue Dialer to start rolling through your calls. If you get their voicemail, you can personalize, then drop in the voice message after you hear the beep, or just drop the message in without personalization. If you need to transfer them to another team member, hit Transfer, select the agent or group to transfer them to, and hit Transfer. To add another person to a call, hit Hold. Click Dial a Number to dial the next phone number. Once that person answers, hit Merge and the calls will be merged. If one person other than you hangs up, the call will still be active. The Message Center is where you can listen to your voice messages, check your SMS messages, check any missed calls, and also listen to unassociated call recordings. Play your voice message. You can then save it to the leader of the client file and call them back from their file. Or you can click to launch the call directly in Message Center and then delete the message if you don't want to save it. Check your SMS messages and missed calls. Call recordings from numbers unassociated with the leader or client file will be stored in this Recordings tab. Enjoy calling with Radius Bob. <laughs>